Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Mattis makes huge announcement. Liberals are cowering. Washington, D.C. Defense Secretary James Mattis and Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen announced in a joint statement on Friday that the first 500 troops are moving to the U.S.-Mexican border after Attorney General Jeff Sessions declared zero tolerance for illegal crossings, followed on Saturday by a tweet from President Trump making clear that these actions are part of an interagency response to seal the border, Breitbart reports. Defense Secretary James Mattis on Friday night approved funding for up to 4,000 National Guard troops for duty along the border with Mexico. The Pentagon will pay for the operation through the end of September. A Defense Department memo said the Guard members will not perform law enforcement functions or interact with migrants or other persons detained without Mattis's approval. It said arming will be limited to circumstances that might require self-defense, but it did not further define that, Military News reports. The memo authorizes the use of Title 32 and Defense Department dollars for up to 4,000 National Guard personnel to support the Department of Homeland Security's southern border security mission while under the command and control of their respective governors through September 30, 2018. Black Square, Arizona and Texas will deploy hundreds of National Guard troops to defend the U.S.-Mexico border, Black Square. Defense Secretary James Mattis has ordered up to 4,000 troops as part of President Donald Trump's plan to defend against illegal immigration and drug trafficking. We are sealing up our southern border, President Trump tweeted on Saturday afternoon. The people of our great country want safety and security. The Democrats have been a disaster on this very important issue. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey said about 150 Guard members would deploy next week. And the Texas National Guard said it was already sending guardsmen to the border with plans to place 250 troops there in the next 72 hours as an initial surge, according to a Guard spokesman. Two helicopters lifted off Friday night from Austin, the state capital, to head south. Department of Homeland Security officials have said Guard members could support Border Patrol agents and other law enforcement agencies. DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen said this week that Guard members could help look at the technology, the surveillance, and that the department might ask for fleet mechanics. Federal law restricts the military from carrying out law enforcement duties. CNBC News President Trump's zero-tolerance policy has prompted the organizers of a caravan of more than 1,500 Central American migrants traveling through Mexico toward the U.S. border to request refugee status from the U.S. to call off their group expedition. Illegal aliens scrambled across the wall on the U.S.-Mexico border between Ciudad Juarez in Mexico and Sunland Park, New Mexico. Friday to taunt President Trump's tough-on-immigration stance. RWT Breaking News The illegal aliens know that the National Guard units cannot touch them, detain them or even impede them as they flood the border. The Justice Department announced Friday that it is implementing a zero-tolerance policy for prosecuting those attempting to enter the U.S. illegally, the latest in a series of measures by the Trump administration to combat illegal immigration. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.